Hello everyone. I will today show you a demo about connecting to SageMaker Studio by using AWS Single Sign-On, abbreviated AWS SSO, in combination with Okta, which is an external identity and access management provider. I will touch as well on resource isolation between users in Studio. Let me first set up the context for this demo. You have three components in terms of architecture, Okta, AWS SSO, and Amazon SageMaker Studio. Now, let's say you have a company using Okta as an external identity provider, and they have two teams. One is the data scientists for fraud detection, and another one is the data scientist for computer vision. Both teams want to use SageMaker Studio via Okta, but one team should not be able to access the other team's resources. In other words, we need to have resource isolation between teams and a way to connect Okta to SageMaker Studio, which is by using AWS SSO. On the top of it, we will as well limit the teams to use only a specific instance type for their studio notebooks, which would be the MLT3 medium. Let's jump into the sequence diagram. There are three ways for user to access his studio environment as seen on this diagram. The first is to start from Okta, authenticate, access the application SSO, and select SageMaker Studio. The second way is to directly access AWS SSO, which will be after redirected you, re redirect you to Okta to authenticate, and after the user will be able to access his SageMaker Studio environment. The third way is to directly access the studio environment of the user, which will be in the same way redirecting uh, to Okta to authenticate, and after then he will be able to access his studio environment. Let's see how is in Okta. I'm connecting try now as an admin. Let me show you the, the teams that we have. So we have created, as previously said, two teams. One team is the computer vision, and the other one is the fraud detection. Each team has different people incorporated. Here we have Pablo and Ricardo. The other one you have Chris and Tati. We have as well connect Okta to AWS SSO, as you can see in AWS single sign-on, and each user has access, each team has access to SageMaker Studio. I will connect now to an Okta user from one team on one web browser and to another user from a different team on another web browser to avoid cookies problems. Both of them have access to SageMaker Studio. I am now in the landing page uh, to connect to authenticate uh, for a Nocta user. In this situation, uh, I'm gonna be a user from computer vision trying to connect into Okta. This represents the first uh, way to connect uh, into SageMaker Studio as seen in the sequence diagram. Let's connect. These are the different applications that have access via Okta, AWC and Scion is part of them. And here's where I'm going to see now the different services from AWS that have access via AWS SSO in the situation studio. I click on it. So now that I'm connected to studio, we will do three examples. One is create an experiment in one team and try to delete it with the other team. Uh, we're going to see as well then in terms of limitations of instance types, so I'm going to try to change the instance and it's going to be denied. And the third one is going to see the, 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 the limitations as well in terms of S3 access. So let, let, let's give it a try. Let's try to build an experiment. So I'm going to build an experiment called Bolt Detection, just to detect bolts. <clears throat> and to, uh, to create this experiment, I need to, to, to give uh, the value of the team. The situation is computer vision team. Uh, we're going to see, otherwise it's going to be denied. Uh, you're, we're going to see that in the IAM uh, policy later on. So I create the the experiment, I refresh. As you can see, it has been created in both detection. Let's go in terms of fraud detection. So this is a user from fraud detection team. Uh, they are part of the same uh, studio domain, but they have a different users environment. So if I refresh here, I can see that the both detection has been created uh, successfully from by, by the other team. Let's try to delete it. So here, experiment load and try to delete it. I'm not going to be able to delete this because it's not part of the same team. This is from detection. The experiment is from uh, computer vision. But let's see now if I want to create uh, an experiment for, for, for detection. Well, I create it. Refresh, as you can see, has been created here. Uh, the user as a fraud detection, as part of the fraud detection team, is going to be able to delete it.
there you go okay it was just the it didn't load properly yet um so it has been deleted let's see there you go so now let's go back to uh computer vision so the computer vision uh user is the only one who can actually delete the uh both detection uh, experiments so let's do it there you go it's been deleted so this was in terms of experiments. Now let's see if I want to change uh, as a user the instance type. So remember we said that they were he he as a user can be only allowed to use ML T3 medium. As you can see, denied. We're gonna see that after in the in the policy where, uh, but it has been denied. He can only use the the ML T3 medium. Let's see in terms of uh, S3. So I'm gonna list uh, the buckets first. As you can see, these are the different buckets. You have two buckets, which are team computer vision and team for detection. Here, as a user from a computer vision, I'm gonna try to access the fraud detection bucket. I'm gonna have a denied action. As you can see, access denied. Let's try to access now the computer vision one. Yes, and I have a folder called computer vision models in there. So it works successfully. Let's have a look now in terms of uh, IAM policies and roles. So these are the roles. So this is one of the roles, which is for computer vision. As you can see, I have added a tag team with a value computer vision. Now this role has a policy. This is the policy, computer vision policy. And as you can see in the policy here, create app, resource, etc., etc. I'm blocking anything that is different from T3 uh, medium, which is not equal to this. That's where the deny comes from, because it's an effect of deny. So the instance needs to be an ML T3 medium. Now, when I'm going to be creating something in SageMaker, I need to add as a condition the T value. In this is computer vision or for detection. Um, now, when I'm going to want to delete here, when we were to, to delete the experiment, the condition to delete an experiment is that the value of the team of the user is to be the same than the value uh, team value of the of the experiment that you have created. That's why you, between teams you cannot uh, delete experiments from each other. I hope you you you, you enjoyed this uh, demo. This was then a demo about resource isolations and how to connect uh, Okta uh, via Okta to SageMaker Studio. Thank you.